Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Nolan Johannes, Karen Hart, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark with his backyard forecast, and Joe Zone on sports. This is the News Watch 16 update. Good evening. For Pete's sake, he did it. Pete Rose hit his way into the baseball history books tonight. Joe Zone is live in his sports office right now with that record-breaking story. Joe? You know what? It is ironic, maybe even a little scary. 57 years ago today, Ty Cobb played in his last Major League Baseball game. And so tonight in Cincinnati, Pete Rose moves ahead of Ty Cobb on the all-time list as baseball's all-time hitmaker. First inning, Pete Rose against... 2-1 pitch from Schaus in the left center. There it is! Rose has eclipsed Cobb. That's number 4,192. And of course, what a moment. His teammates streamed out of the dugout to congratulate him. A sellout crowd, many of whom arrived too late to see the hit, cheered Rose wildly. Later on, he wept on the shoulder of first base coach Tommy Helms. And then his 15-year-old son, Pete Jr., came out to congratulate him. Pete, of course, uh, after all of the emotion, said, well, look at that. Isn't that touching? Later on, he said, let's play ball. And still the crowd stood and gave him a standing ovation. Uh, the first base bag was taken to the dugout along with the historic ball. All, of course, will go to the Hall of Fame. So Pete Rose has done it tonight. And I'll have more on the update a little bit later on the sportscast. Okay, thank you, Joe. A state education council is recommending that school districts be given more time to meet new library requirements. The state education department had said that all districts must offer 30 hours of library courses this year, but many districts complained, saying they needed more time to set up the courses. It's now up to the full state board of education to figure out whether to delay the library regulations. There's a new book bound for the libraries that calls our high schools shopping malls. Nightbeat reporter Kathy Belich explains that and gets some reaction. Does this look like a high school to you? Of course it isn't. It's a shopping mall. But a book just out says they're a lot alike. It's called The Shopping Mall High School, The Winners and Losers in the Educational Marketplace. The book's message is that schools offer a lot of different courses, just like a mall offers many products. And the book says, with the districts and teachers concerned about the variety of courses, there's not a lot of attention paid to what the students are learning. High school junior Lisa Paperno says that isn't true in her school. They make sure that you know what, what you're talking about because um, it, your junior year, which I am in now, is the most important. And uh, the teachers really want to make sure you know what you're talking about. It really depends on the teacher itself because some of them do care and some of them really don't. They're just there to teach. All they want is their money and that's it. And the teachers we talk to don't agree with the criticism about what goes on in these classrooms. We caught up with some teachers at the Greater Nanticoke District at a PTA meeting. Most teachers try to get their students involved in classroom activities. You might spend 10, 15 minutes maybe lecturing, and then you have students doing some work, working together in groups possibly. Some of the parents at the meeting say they've run into teachers they thought could do better with the students, but for the most part, they're satisfied with the education their children are getting. Kathy Bellish, Newswatch 16, Nanticoke. We'll be back in a moment. Get cooking and save a lot of money in Acme's Big Bacon and Egg Sale. This Wednesday and Thursday only, all bacon and eggs are on sale at Acme's cost. Hot sellers like Oscar Mayer, Fireside, Lancaster, Armor Star, Sizzlene, plus any size eggs at Acme's cost. But only this Wednesday and Thursday in Acme's tasty 48-hour sale on all bacon and eggs. And this week, Acme has crystal wine glasses only $1.99 each with each $5 purchase. Taking off inches. For millions of people in this country, it's become an obsession. It's for that reason Citizen introduces the world's thinnest water-resistant watch. If we can't take inches off your waist, we can at least take millimeters off your wrist. Citizen's ultra-thin collection, the smartest engineering ever strapped to a wrist. At K Jewelers, the diamond people. 
Fall is a beautiful season, and Phase Drug celebrates the arrival of fall with week-long savings and values. Save now on 15-ounce collagen-enriched style shampoos and conditioners. Style formulas are right for every type of hair. They moisturize, build body, and leave hair healthy-looking with shine and fullness. Phase low sale price, just $1.63. Style shampoo and conditioner in this week's full-color fall circular. From Phase, obviously not your average drugstore. Doctors are now saying our younger generation is fast becoming the fat generation. That kids today are not as fit as kids 20 years ago were. In this Health Watch report, Newswatch 16's Mark Anik found a Scranton doctor who says it's overweight adults that are causing part of the problem. Walking down the street, you'll see a variety of people in a variety of shapes and sizes. The American Academy of Pediatrics says if you're looking at teenagers and kids, that shape is more likely to be round because the kids are out of shape. Part of the problem is, of course, what they eat. Double cheeseburger. <laughs> what about you? What are you going to have for lunch? Two cheeseburgers. But pediatrician Wayne Kiavachi says another problem is that adults aren't in as good a shape as they think they are. A, a very health conscious population, uh, but yet uh, still an increase in, in the amount of obesity. And now, most kids don't eat by themselves. They eat with adults, their parents. So Kiavachi says it's only natural that with more parents being out of shape, more of the kids are going to be overweight, too. That means that eventually the kids will have some of their parents' health problems. Diabetes, high cholesterol, um, heart disease. The doctor hopes better education about eating through the Heart Association will help out. In the meantime, his advice, eat less and exercise more. Mark Anik, Newswatch 16, Scranton. Researchers say they've made a major breakthrough in the battle against the common cold. Scientists at Purdue University have come up with a computer model of a cold virus. They hope the model will help them find a way to prevent or even cure colds, but there may be even more benefits. The model is similar to the viruses that cause polio, hepatitis, MS, and infantile diabetes, and could be like those that cause cancer, leukemia, and AIDS. Although researchers are excited about the breakthrough, they say it will probably be quite some time before any cures might be found. Scientists are also excited about something that happened 44 million miles up in space today. For the first time ever, a man-made object, a satellite, passed through a comet. And scientists say they were able to gather all kinds of information from the satellite. They've learned that there is less dust in the comet's tail and much more turbulence than scientists had believed. And researchers are hoping to get even more information when the satellite comes back to Earth in the year 2012. Those oceanographers who found the wreck of the Titanic have released more dramatic pictures of the ship. From almost two miles out of the ocean, this is a look at the serving platter used on the ship and some coal that was used to fuel the engines. And these wine bottles are still intact. The research crew also took these pictures of the huge anchor chains on the Titanic. And this is the roof of an upper deck. Underneath that deck was this grand staircase. The scientists will not say exactly where the wreck is. They're trying to keep any souvenir hunters away. Hmm. Huh. Next, meteorologist Tom Clark will bundle up to head out to his cold backyard. Uh, Tom, it has been a long time since it's oh, been this cold. That's right, and it's been a long time since I smell like mothballs. <laughs> yeah, mm. nice sweater, Tom. Oh, thanks. <laughs> when we come back, we'll look at some more weather folklore. Discover new horizons. You'll find everything that's new for the great outdoors at RV Expo 86, the largest RV show in the East, this Thursday through Sunday at the Farm Show Complex. More than 450 vehicles on display, all designed for you to get away from it all in style to discover new horizons. RV Expo 86, Thursday, September 12th through Sunday, September 15th at the Farm Show Complex. RV Expo 86. Well, how cold is it out in the backyard I'm tonight? To find out. Tom? Hmm. You can see your breath. Uh-oh. Oh. Someone told me it's summer. It's still summer. I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know it by standing outside tonight, folks. Uh, temperatures dropping into the 30s in many outlying areas tonight. That's because the sky is clear and the wind is very light. Let's check the numbers now. Outside, what a change from last night. 50 degrees now. 
Humidity 65%, the wind still from the north, and the barometer is sensing the added weight of this cold air. It continues to rise. Had a high here today of only 64 degrees. You can see how far below the normal for this date, that is. 50 is the low so far today is what we have outside now. 36 is the record low for this date. A year ago today, 82 and 64. A beautiful sunset tonight with some stratocumulus clouds on the horizon. Nice shot. Hey, you know, the common caterpillar has been used for predicting the weather for many generations. Now, the basis of this prognostication is associated with the width of the center stripe. Now, the woolly worm who wears the thick, dark stripe predicts the coming winter will be cold and snowy. And if his band is narrow, a short, mild winter is on the way. Mm. Well, these creatures are found in late summer and in early fall, and I haven't seen any yet, but be on the lookout. Uh, they may know something that I don't know. <clears throat> Here's your jet stream. Let me show you why it's so cold outside tonight. Kind of looks like a, a giant snake in the grass, doesn't it? We have a, a big dip in the east. We call this a high amplitude wave pattern. And when the flow gets like this, it's very slow to change. So don't expect any warming trend the rest of this week. And don't expect any rain. Because with that kind of a flow, there's no way any moist air can reach Pennsylvania. So here's my forecast uh, for tomorrow. No swimming allowed, please. Uh, I want to maintain your good health. Tawanda, a high of only 60 tomorrow. Looking for a high of about 61 in Nanakoke. Lee Heighton, about 63. McClure, only 63. Hawley, cool. Mixture of clouds and sunshine. A lot of that clean sunshine again tomorrow. And low humidities. The wind will stay from the north. Here's your sunrise for a Thursday morning, 6.40. Sunset tomorrow night, 7-19. It'll stay clear tonight. Be sure to send the kids off to school with a sturdy jacket tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the, like I said, upper 30s to low 40s, 43 here. That will not break a record. Maybe some frost tomorrow morning along the northern border of Pennsylvania. Nice day tomorrow, 60. Still cool on Friday. More cloudiness, but no rain. Saturday and Sunday, well, not too bad. Still cool as well. So aside from what the Caterpillar says, this cold snap does not mean a cold, snowy winter is on the way. All okay. right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Bye-bye. Several chapters of the United Way are kicking off their 1985 campaigns today. For example, the United Way of Monroe County and the Eastern Snyder County United Way. Also, tonight in Wilkes-Barre, the United Way of Wyoming Valley kicked off its campaign. More than 800 people were on hand for the dinner program. Newswatch 16's Frank Andrews served as Toastmaster. One of the highlights, a videotape produced by WNEP-TV for the United Way. It's called People Helping People and will be shown to companies who want to encourage their workers to contribute to the United Way. And coming up, Joe Zone will be back with the entire Sports Watch. Of course, the big story they'll be talking about for years, the 50,000 plus who saw Pete Rose do it tonight in Cincinnati. Joe will show us again when we come back. This is a professional athlete. To help him convert his food to energy, he adds a multivitamin to his diet. Meet Theragrand M with extra B-complex vitamins, energy releasers. Theragrand M gives you this much of them, Centrum this much. Again, Theragrand M, Centrum. Theragrand M has more energy releasers. We know you're not a professional athlete, but we'll bet there are times when your busy life makes you feel like one. So remember the key vitamins and minerals in Theragrand M with energy releasers. I'll tell you, I got chills when Pete Rose got that hit. <laughs> Boy, it's history, Joe. It's one place that I was not, that I wish I could have been yeah. tonight. Would have been one of about, what, 53,000? It was, uh, well, it was talked about and anticipated and built up for so long, like your first honeymoon, I think. It was a great big thrill, no yeah. doubt about it. Let's take a look. Pete Rose tonight in Cincinnati, up his first time against Eric Schau. Here it comes. Of course, the crowd, as you can see, his teammates just thrilled tonight. 
And they had quite a, quite a celebration planned for Pete. 4,192, by the way, he did get a, a triple later on in the game. But the emotion here you seldom see with his son, Pete Jr. And, uh, well, he was just overwhelmed by the whole thing. And then a call from a famous president. Rose. Yes, sir. Alias Charlie Hustle. Yes, sir. This is Ronald Reagan. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Well, listen, I just wanted to say congratulations for breaking one of the most enduring records in sports history. Ty Cobb's career hit record of 4,191. And now, unless you've done something, as I've heard the latest, you've made it. 4,193. And so there it is, the big story tonight. Pete Rose has done it. Okay, a little bit of baseball history in New York, too. The Mets, great young pitcher, Dwight Gooden against the St. Louis Cardinals and their pitcher, John Tudor. What a game. It was a one-run game last night and a one-run game tonight. The Cardinals even it up. They win it in 10-1-0. Take a look in today's plays. It was good, and boy, he has gone 18 straight innings now without giving up a run. You know what? No decision at all. Look at Tudor, a strike out there. No score until the 10th, and then Orozco is in for the Mets, and there goes Cesar Cedeno. It's hit deep, it's hit long, it's gone, and it's 1-0. They're all tied again in that division. Let's go to the scoreboard and see it in the National League East. St. Louis 1-0, dead even again for first. They wrap up the series tomorrow afternoon. Phillies are at 500 for the first time this year as they won tonight. Mike Schmidt with a home run, 4-1 over Montreal. L.A. keeps right on rolling, 12-3. Chicago over Pittsburgh, final 3-1. San Francisco, 11-4. Cincinnati, San Diego, 2-0. The Yankees and the Brewers are still playing. It's 3-3. The Yanks looking for their 12th straight win, and they need it to stay within a game and a half because the Blue Jays won. Take a look at today's plays. The Yankees already down 2-0 right here. A little blooper by Billy Sample. It drops in. It's a base hit. Mattingly scores. He was on an error. That makes it 2-1. Now they're coming up throwing to second. It's wild. Goes to center. Another run's going to score on this, and it's all tied at 2-2. Two two. Yankees get the third run right here. Andre Robertson in the corner. A single drives in a run. That makes it 3-2. It's tied at 3-3 now, playing in the eighth inning. But as I said, Toronto won today. Here's one of the reasons why. Home run right here. That one is out of here. Damaso Garcia to tie the Tigers 1-1. One one. Willie Upshaw right here takes it deep. It's not out, but it's off the wall. It drives in a run. That makes it 2-1. Two and they hold on to win tonight, three to two. They sweep the Tigers. Scoreboard, American League. Yankees in Milwaukee, three three in the eighth. It's in the ninth, and don't forget, tomorrow, the first of four games in New York, the Yankees and the Blue Jays. Toronto, three two. Boston beat Baltimore, four one. The other big one, Kansas City, California, with the Royals a game and a half in first. They are playing now in California, no score in the first. Three kids have left the Penn State football team. They are looking for greener pastures. All are freshman red shirts. A red shirt is a player who sits out of here because of an injury. All three were complaining about lack of practice and playing time. Ahead for the Nittany Lions is Temple. They're in for the home opener this Saturday. Coach Joe Paterno looking for some improvement after the opening win against Maryland. The fact that the kids have gone out and played a game, have a game under their belt, uh, they have an idea what they can do. You have an idea what you, what they can do. And now you start to tie the little loose ends together, and you start to get quicker, more precise, uh, react better to certain situations, anticipate better, and those things. Penn State, Temple, 12 noon, right here Saturday on WNEP. Okay, let's take a look at the fishing game forecast for tomorrow. 11.30 looks really nice. <laughs> what a great, great mm. night in Cincinnati. Even though you knew it was coming, it was just electrifying. Still, sure was. Still exciting. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thanks, Joe. Good okay. stuff coming up with the Yankees, too, right? Four big ones. <laughs> uh -oh. Sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joe's <that's> prediction. <laughs> and still ahead, playing games with strawberries. Giant Floors Fall Festival of Savings. Dress up your home now with free decorating and six months to pay with no interest. Great value is yours in this new Heather Tweed from Columbus. It comes in a popular selection of colors and is guaranteed against wear for five years. Three average rooms, just $899.50 installed. 
Take advantage of great savings on everything for your home, including custom draperies. Giant Floors, Fall Festival, going on now. Don't miss it. It's summertime saving time, summertime saving time. It's summertime saving time at your Mazda dealers, and we're dealing on everything. On GLCs, 626s, even RX-7s. And during our factory-supported truck clearance sale, you can save hundreds on an 86 Mazda B2000. So come by now and save. Mazda summertime saving time. Get a lot of value at your local Mazda dealer today. Do you like strawberries? Love them. How about a whole big plate of them? Oh, yeah, with whipped cream. Ooh, nice. But here's the catch. You can't have it unless you can consume it in 31 seconds or less. I could try. That's what it would take to get you in the record books, because here in Sydney, Australia, the 20th Annual World Championships have taken place. The new record, eating strawberries Ooh. and cream with your hands tied behind your back, belongs to last year's champ, Ted Coase. Ted must have been practicing. He chopped 13 seconds off last year's time. So, strawberry fans, 31 seconds is your goal. Go for it. I'd rather you just spoon. That's Newswatch 16 update for tonight. Good night. There's been many legends in baseball.